Grammar three for level three students. Unit eight. Pronouns. Personal pronouns. Agreement with generic nouns. The pronouns refer to particular individuals whose gender is known. The nouns are not generic. See the examples. A student came into the room. She took her bag. In this sentence, in this sentence, this pronoun is referring to a feminine gender. But the noun student is not generic. Example B. A student came into the room. He took his bag. In this sentence, this pronoun is referring to a masculine gender. But the noun itself is not generic. In both the sentences, these pronouns are referring to a noun which is not generic. Agreement with generic nouns. A singular generic noun is used not to refer to a person or thing in particular. Rather, it represents a whole group. In this case, both feminine and masculine pronouns are used to refer to a singular generic noun. Example A. A student should do his or her homework. In this sentence, both masculine and feminine pronouns are used to refer to a singular generic noun. Student. Example B. A passenger should carry his or her passport. Again, in this sentence, both masculine and feminine pronouns are used to refer to a singular generic noun. Passenger. Agreement with generic nouns. That's why, to avoid the problem of choosing feminine or masculine pronouns, we can use a plural noun rather than a singular generic noun. Number A. Students should do their homework. In this sentence, the noun is plural. And in the picture, we see that students are doing their homework. Example B. Passengers should carry their passport. In this sentence, again, we see passengers is a plural noun. We did not use a singular generic noun here. 